Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set machine configurations for Vectric VCarve software. This is the first in a series of absolute beginner VCarve tutorials that you'll be seeing throughout my channel. <laughs> So once we've opened up vCarve, we want to go under Machine and Machine Configuration. And from here, what you'll see is that you have the machine that you set up most likely when you first ran the Quick Start Demo with vCarve. And if not, you'll have two default uh, machine types that are there, a uh, desktop and a large. So there's two different ways in which we can uh, create a configuration, either a custom configuration, or if you have a more uh, standard CNC machine, you can download those from the Vectric Cloud. So I'm going to show you first how we would download from the Vectric Cloud. Now, since I have multiple uh, CNC's, I have a Sane Smart CNC and I have the Shapeoko 2x4 CNC, the uh, 5 Pro. So I want to add in the CNC for my uh, Mitsu, and this is the 4030, and in my case it is the Prover XL. And for the configuration, they only have a default, so we'll go ahead and download that. And we'll answer yes to install the machine configuration. And then we have our machine. Now, in my case, this is a, a Gerbil based controller, and uh, going in millimeters, it's actually not 400 by 300 because I have the 6060 extension. So we are going to go with 6,000 millimeters by 6,000 millimeters need to do is we need to make sure that we're using a compatible version of uh, post processor which tells Vectric how we're going to uh, process any G code that we generate. Now since this is a Prover XL it's Gerbil we're going to use the defaults of Gerbil inch and Gerbil millimeter as our uh, associated post processors. Then we can go ahead and click on OK. And now if we go into our machine configuration, we have a Prover 4030XL that's the 6000 by 6000, or actually it should be 600 by 600, so I need to change that. And then we have our Shapeoko 5 Pro 2x4 running carbide motion. So that's how you would add the machine type if you are using a common machine. Now, if you have a home-built machine or something that's not available through the cloud, you can install a new machine type by clicking on this plus button to add a custom machine. We're going to call this Custom Prover XL. We're going to call it Genmitsu. Uh, Prover X, XL. This is going to be Gerbil for our controller. And then we're going to set this up for X. Two foot by two foot, if I remember correctly. I haven't done the conversion in my head. Now, you'll notice here that when we set up the custom machine, we don't have any associated post processors. So if you're setting up for a machine that is Gerbil based, you can Gerbil or if you have a Mach 3 type uh, control board, you could go with Mach 3 or something like that. This time we're going to go with our Gerbil again. So we can just scroll down to our post processor management until we find the G's. And we will find two different types that can work are G-code 
with inch or g-code millimeter so we can select those whole inch and millimeter this is this is true for all of our genmitsu cnc's because they generally will create tap files that are gerbil g-code I, I do recommend using just the gerbil because sometimes the tap can introduce some incompatibilities we'll go ahead and select those and there we see we have our post processors i'm actually going to remove And if we look at our machine configuration, now we have our custom Prover XL, our Prover XL that we downloaded, and our Shapeoko 5 Pros that were already there. So for our next lesson, I'll show you how you can import tool databases on a per machine basis. See you next time, and here's some other videos that I hope you'll like.